beautiful beings welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm caitlin and for today's video we are going to be doing a crystal haul i know you guys really enjoy these videos so let's just get right into this video okay guys i got a lot of crystals these are just some um i got these about two three months ago I've been waiting to do a crystal haul and these are actually going to be the crystals that I'm going to be selling on my Etsy shop in a couple weeks. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Okay, so how we're gonna do it is I have a bunch of different crystals here laid out on my bed and I'm just going to do it by section, not in any particular order. We're just gonna start off with whatever's closest to me. So the first thing we're starting off with is angelite. We have this gorgeous blue tumbled angelite and it's absolutely beautiful. The vibes on these are amazing. Um, I have three of them. Two of them are gonna be made into necklaces and another one will be in a kit. I'm really excited about these. Now, these are beautiful. Oh, and by the way, we went to, the, my mom and I, we went to Native Spirit Lodge. I'm gonna leave their location and everything down below in the description box. So yeah, we have some angelite. So that was the first like crystals, how pretty. The next ones are turquoise. I love turquoise. Just look at this color. This color is out of this world. It's so pretty. I love how unique they look as well. Each of them looks different and I just love the different shapes and the different little designs inside. And I'm so excited for you guys to maybe get one of these. The next crystal is Bloodstone. Now I don't even own a piece of Bloodstone myself, but I have two of them right here. And they're really cool. It's this really dark green, like evergreen color with a little bit of red inside. Um, I don't know much about Bloodstone either, but I did see it at the store and I was like, I don't really see that at stores. So I got some for you guys. The next one is, I love this one. It's super cute and I love the properties of it. I know it as Kiwi Jasper, but at the place it was called Lotus Jasper, I believe. So here we have some Kiwi Jasper. I'm going to be making these into necklaces because I love my necklace with Kiwi Jasper but these are just beautiful. My siblings think it looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> I feel like it's also a type of crystal that you don't really know of that much or it's not found in crystal shops that often. So I got a couple of those. Next we have Moonstone. I got this piece of Moonstone. I got some of different shades of colors because I wanted there to be a variety. I have this pretty piece of Moonstone. That is the Moonstone that I usually see at stores. Then we have like a peach Moonstone that's like a lighter peachy color. And then we have like a darker peach moonstone. So we have some different colors here. They are so pretty. So there we have some moonstone. Next, we have sunstone. Now I literally have heard of this, but I've never had it before. I got three, but I kept one for myself because I was so drawn to it. So here are two beautiful pieces of sunstone. You can literally see the shimmer in the sun. It is beautiful. It's so cool. I need to learn more about it and I just, absolutely love just some of the properties that i know of it and i just love how it looks one of these is going to be a necklace and another one is going to be in a kit next let's move on to carnelian i only got one piece of carnelian i think it's absolutely beautiful just look at this piece of carnelian it's tumbled and it just like i don't know like look at how it looks like waves right here and look at like the little cracks in it. I just think it's so unique. I think it'd be a great piece in a collection. And cause it's easy to like meditate with. It's nice to like have in place on your body. But it's also small enough to like put in your purse or put in your pocket. Next, I'm going to show you guys some black tourmaline. Now I have two kind of really small, but kind of big chunks to go in kits. They're just going to be very small. But I do have these bags of tourmaline chips that I'm going to actually be making into necklaces. So yeah, let's move on to the next crystal, which is going to be Tiger's Eye. I got two pieces of Tiger's Eye that it's, and just look at the reflection of these. These are beautiful. I love Tiger's Eye. It's my boyfriend's favorite stone. They even have a little bit of silver right here. And I just thought these pieces of Tiger's Eye were super cool. I, and I'm really excited to do put these in kits or make it into a necklace for you guys. Yeah, there's, ti there's our Tiger's Eye. Let's move on to the next crystal. The next crystal is Blue Lace Agate. And I just thought it was perfect to get a couple for you guys to make into necklaces, to make put in some kits. And then you have the beautiful ripples right here inside. Looks like the ocean. It's just such a pretty crystal. It literally reminds me of the ocean right here. 
it's so pretty and then like the little it's just so unique hands i think these are beautiful crystals and i absolutely love them the next one i want to show you guys is amazonite so i love amazonite and these are absolutely gorgeous two of these are going to be crystal necklaces and one of them is going to be in a kit bright sea foam green I just love Amazonite and Amazonite is so calming as well. It really helps with anxiety, things like that. Amazonite necklaces are a must have. They're beautiful. So, so I'm really excited. Let's move on to the next one because we're going to keep going. The next one we have is fluorite. Now fluorite is amazing for focusing and studying things like that, helping you retain information. This is a great crystal. Now this one has green and purple. It looks kind of blue-ish, which I think it's beautiful. Same with this one. And then this one has like little, like, it looks like a star right here. And it has a rainbow in it as well. And then this one just is green. This one is green fluorite. Next, we have some tumbled sodalite. Sodalite is the best. It's helped me open up my throat chakra so much. It's really helped me be able to speak my truth, things like that. Not be afraid to speak up. And these pieces are super cool. Look at the white inside. Like, it looks like, I don't know. It's just beautiful. I love this color blue, actually. Stop. This is gorgeous. Okay, anyways, let's move on to the next crystal. Next, we have some raw blue calcite. I'm going to make a couple of these into necklaces, and then these will be in kits as well. But, oh my goodness, just look at it in my hand. It just looks beautiful, right? And then, like... They're, I love raw. Raw crystals are probably my favorite. So there is our blue calcite. Let's move on to the next calcite. The next one is orange calcite. Now, orange calcite makes me feel really happy, reminds me of the sun. It kind of looks like candy to me. I don't know why. I just think of candy when I see this, but it is beautiful. We're going to make two into necklaces and then two in some other kits. You guys already know the drill. Some are going to be necklaces and some are going to be in the kits. It just makes me so happy. And I love calcite. I wanted to get green calcite, but they didn't have any. So let's move on to the next crystal. Next one we have is citrine. It's actually heat-treated amethyst. Some of these have rainbows, and I think I'm trying to get it on camera for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they do have rainbows. Such pretty sparkles in the white, and such pretty like shimmer in the yellow as well. You guys need some citrine if you don't have any. Next crystal we're going to be talking about is Howlite. I really love this crystal. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's so like sophisticated to me. I don't know why I feel like it's sophisticated, but it's super cute. I love Howlite. I like that they're not too big or too small. It's just super pretty to have and look at and, and has a lot of benefits as well. Next, we're going to be talking about some Jade. Now I only got two pieces of green Jade. We have this one, and then we have this one as well. This one is a lighter green color with some white, and this one's a darker green color with some white, and the darker green one has to be my favorite. Next is some raw pieces of smoky quartz. These are beautiful. I love smoky quartz. It has to be probably one of my favorite, like, crystals ever. I love them, and it's just so amazing for empaths, just for energy. Just my gosh, you guys, I love smoky quartz. Just look at this. They're absolutely beautiful. And I think they're the perfect size, and I love smoky quartz. They're beautiful. But next up is clear quartz. I got two pieces of clear quartz for you guys. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at these. You could see a rainbow in this one, I believe. Just a small little rainbow in here. The formation is beautiful. Clear quartz is amazing, and everyone should have some clear quartz in your collection. Next is amethyst. Now I have this little piece of amethyst that I'm going to actually be making into a crystal necklace and I think it'll be perfect for that. And we have this little piece as well. I might make this into a necklace, I'm not really sure yet, but it's super cute. I love how like light it is. I love the light purple. Then we have a beautiful piece of tumbled amethyst right here. It's so pretty. I love how the bottom is white and then right, oh, the rainbow is stunning. That rainbow right there is stunning. Oh my gosh. And then we have a beautiful piece. Look at this slab of crystal right here. It's so pretty. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Just look at it right here too on the screen. It just looks so beautiful, so magical. I love pieces of amethyst like this. They just make me so happy. You can even charge little crystals on top of this as well. Shape is kind of cool too. It's not like a perfect shape. It's like a little right here. Oh, we're almost done. Next we have rose quartz. Now I got a bunch of pieces of rose quartz. The tumbles are going to be, these tumbles right here are going to be necklaces or a bracelet. And then we have two pieces of raw rose quartz. They, I love raw rose quartz. It's probably my favorite type of rose quartz. 
And look at the color. It's a really beautiful pink color. And right here, I don't know if you guys can see, it kind of has a rainbow all the way inside. You can kind of see like the little different colors. And we have one more little tumble that is going to be in a kit, I believe. I love rose quartz so much. And these are like bigger chunks. I really like them. Last but not least, we have a piece of Labradorite. Wow, even on the screen right here, you could see the beautiful splashes of blues. Look at how beautiful this crystal truly is. Like, look at all the flashes. I love this one because it was really flashy, as you guys can kind of see. And you could really see the flashes even when it's, like, sitting down. And it's so pretty. Look at the blue and, like, the green. And, like, there's a little bit of yellow right there. It's so beautiful. And even on the back, you can see the flashes all around. And it's a perfect palm stone as well. It's just so nice to have in your palm. So those were all the crystals. Um, Now I'm going to show you guys, like, things that I got to make bracelets. We have some green aventurine beads. We have some rose quartz beads I'm going to be making a couple bracelets with. And then I got some lava rocks to also make like, to also put like as spacers. I might make one essential oil bracelet because these are good to have as essential oil bracelets as well. So we have a couple of those. I'm so happy I finally got to give you guys a little crystal haul. I think they're amazing crystals. They have really good vibes and I'm going to of course cleanse them and stuff. I'm going to be making another video in a couple weeks showing you guys the kits that I'm going to be making. Um, but I think they're going to be really cool. I'm really excited and I really want to decorate them nice. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you loved seeing the different types of crystals and seeing how beautiful and unique all of them truly are. And I wish you guys could feel the vibrations, but maybe you could get them off the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And don't forget to click that little notification bell so you can know every time I upload a brand new video. If you guys would like, you guys could also go follow me on my socials and go check out my Etsy shop because that is where I'm going to be selling a lot of these crystals. Beautiful day or night, wherever you are in this world. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Maybe inspired you to get new crystals or maybe just look at some crystals and have fun watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.